Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. Today's book is the Special Forces Sniper Training and Employment FM 3-05.222. This is the April 2003 version. It's U.S. Military uh, Army Manual for Sniper Training. I started reading this one uh, back in August of 22, uh, which you can see up here. And I never finished it. So full disclosure, I haven't read the whole thing. I got about 60 to 70% of the way through. Uh, something like that, around here-ish of how much I read, okay? And I mean, you know, this is not necessarily light reading, right? Uh, you can just find a PDF online and print it. That's what I did, hence the self-binding and all that. So again, haven't read the whole thing, so take it with a grain of salt, right? Truth be told, it just got boring. Uh, I got bored and I just couldn't bring myself to read it and I lost pleasure reading it and so I went on to read other things thinking maybe sometime we'll circle back and who knows, maybe I will. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna do the quick and dirty on it. So some good things about this book. Uh, one, I think it's super applicable to guys like me who are just everyday guys. Because the way the, the US Army Special Forces does snipers is two man teams, right? You have a shooter and a spotter. And so they talk through in here how to do that, right? And typically you're talking about two guys, you know, patrolling or stalking. It goes into that in the book, what stalking means and whatever. Uh, up to a, pl a place where they're gonna take a shot on a target, right? And then these two guys have to work well together for the spotter to help call the shot and call the windage and call the distance and stuff like that and the shooter to actually execute the shot and then they gotta sneak away, right? So there's a lot of good things in there just for the everyday American Minuteman as far as having the ability to be sneaky, to take sneaky shots, to work in small teams, right? Because again, two guys, it's, I mean, you can find a buddy, right? And I think there's a lot of value in there. So if you and a buddy wanted to print this off and read it and then work on the stuff in this book together, that'd be a fantastic use of your time for you and your buddy. They talk a lot about field craft and again, stealth and camouflage, which are all super useful things for the American Minute Man who's gonna work in small teams anyway to know. This book does spend in obsequious, I hope I'm using that word right, uh, correctly, is that right? I'm gonna look it up. Obsequious, obedient or attentive to an excessive or servile degree. I'm using it correctly, that's what I'm trying to say. This book spends an obsequious amount of time on external ballistics, right? And trying to get the bullet right in the right spot. Now granted, hey, I get it, they're snipers and they're trying to get first round hits at five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred, a thousand yards, right? So. I get, I, I understand why the detail is there and why they go into it because, you know, that's kind of your whole job, right? So I understand why they spend the amount of time, but honestly, when it comes to external ballistics, I'm just too much of a grunt. I'm just kind of, you know, uh, point and shoot and kind of keep shooting. And that's, that's kind of it. So uh, if that's you though, if you like to nerd out over external ballistics, you'll enjoy this book because it spends a lot of time on that. If you're more like me and you're like, eh, you know, don't really care, skip that part because when it gets to the field craft and the other things, there is a lot of value that you as, again, everyday American Minuteman grunt guy can learn from. So would still recommend it for that reason. If you're able to make it through this whole thing, good for you. Uh, it's not difficult reading, but again, like most American military manuals, right, it can get a little boring, can get a little long, can get a little laborious. So get it, read it if you're interested. I do think there's definitely some value in here. Again, especially coming back to the fact that this is designed to work as a two-man team, and that can be beneficial to you because you probably don't have a whole platoon behind you. Hope that's helpful, hope that gives you some ideas. If nothing else, print it off and keep it as a reference material. Do brave deeds and endure.